this is me and welcome to my spring morning routine 2020. So ever since I got my new horse Joey, so many of you guys have been asking for an morning, updated boys. morning routine and I don't think I've ever done like a spring version before because obviously my morning routine does change a little bit depending on the season. My morning routine starts off at 6am in the morning, that's when my alarm goes off and as soon as I wake up I put on my riding clothes and walk up to the horses because they are always so hungry first thing, that's the first thing I do is get their breakfast but before I do sneak in a few little horse cuddles as well. Oh my gosh guys, sorry about my baby voice, but that's just how all of us equestrians talk to our horses. I know I'm not the only one. So once I've given them all a little bit of love and attention, I then go into the feed room and start making everybody's breakfasts. On this particular day, we'd actually run out of feed, so I had the super satisfying job of opening up the bag and putting it into the feed bin. And all of my horses and donkeys are actually on Bailey's Locale Balancer. I'm super lucky that I'm actually a sponsored rider for Bailey's. I speak regularly to Katie, who is a Bailey's nutritionist, to make sure that all of my horses are kept in tip-top condition. In the mornings, Joey gets two cups of Bailey's Locale Balancer. He also gets one cup in the evening for his dinner. Mickey gets one and a half half cups, Casper gets two, and then each donkey gets one cup as well. Bailey's locale balancer is great because it means that all of my equines get the nutrients that they require without it being a super high calorie feed as a few of my horses are a little bit on the overweight side. <laughs> Also, I like to give my horses a handful of Bailey's light chaff to go along with their breakfast, just to bulk it out a little bit. Also, the light chaff is very high in fiber, which again is great, and it also makes sure that my equines chew their breakfast a little bit more and don't just wolf the whole thing down. Because Mickey has Cushing's disease, he has half a tablet of Pergolide in the morning, and then because of Willow's arthritis, she has a sachet of Equipalazone. I'm also super lucky to be sponsored by Amiga Equine, and they help supply all of the supplements that the horses need. Again, I had a fresh tub here and oh my goodness, it was so satisfying to open. So they all get a scoop of Amiga hoof, especially Casper, as in the past we've always struggled with his hooves growing so slowly. So once I've put all of their supplements in, it's then time to give it a little mix around. And now it's the horse's favorite part of the day, it's breakfast time. So I like to feed each horse in the pecking order. So Joey is at the top because he is the biggest so he gets fed first give him a little pat and a stroke when he's having his breakfast too and then the second horse I then go on to is Casper Mickey is the most hangry pony I've ever seen in my life he gets so excited that he jumps and rears in his stable but sorry Mick I've got to do Casper first because he's next in line so I just open up his stable and Casper is always so good it's always really important for me for my horses to have good ground manners so when I do give them their breakfast I say back and put my hand out just so then they don't like trample over me to get their breakfast because as you can see Mickey does get quite on the excited side this is definitely his favorite part of the day I've never seen a horse get so excited about breakfast so I just give him the little finger be like hey mate just stand back a little bit and then I give him his food and oh my goodness he does start shaking he has so much excitement and then there's Casper and he's just chilled eating his food once I fed the horses I then finish off making the donkeys feeds because with their food I like to add a little bit of water just because all of our donkeys are now in their late 20s they're getting a little bit older now and especially Bruno he has quite bad teeth he's had a few teeth removed by the vets so the water just makes his food a little bit softer so it's easier for him to eat so once I've done that I then walk down to the donkeys paddock through this little pathway which is next to the sand school
pool and also the orchard. Bruno and Toby are usually there ready and waiting. Again, they love their breakfast time as well. So usually I give Toby his food first because he's above Bruno in the pecking order. And then Bruno follows me a little bit further up the field just because I don't like them to be standing too close to each other. Just in case a little bit of squabbling happens over their breakfast. And then last but not least, we have Willow and I like to feed her in the actual donkey stable. This just means that I can actually shut up the stable doors to make sure that if Bruno and Toby do finish their food first that they don't come and eat Willow's medicine. And just look how cute all of them are having their breakfast. They're just so adorable and happy and yeah, this is definitely their happy time. <laughs> While all the donkeys are having their breakfast, it's then time to muck out their stable. So all of our donkeys are free range, so they can come in their stable if they want to. For example, if it starts raining, which does happen a lot here in England, or at night when they want to have a little lie down and have a sleep. And I think that's what a lot of them have been doing recently because I don't know if you saw, but they were absolutely covered in shavings. Usually Willow finishes her food, before I finished mucking out. So here I'm just tidying up a bit but I usually don't sweep just because yet again they are free range so they'll just move the shavings around as soon as I've finished mucking out anyway. After that is all done it's then time to take my red bucket full of muck over to the muck heap which is actually in the orchard just around the back of the stables. Um, so there it is and here I am just unloading it. And yeah, it really is starting to pile up now, guys. So once I've done that, I then put all of my mucking out tools and equipment away. And then it's time to collect up all of the donkey's feed buckets. And then I like to give them a good old wash after that. When the donkeys are fed, it's then time to feed the chickens. So I just refill their pellets and then give them a little bit of corn in the morning as well. This is really good enrichment because I like to spread it over the grass. So throughout the day, they can have a little peck and find little bits of corn. Corn. Lastly, it's time to collect the chickens' eggs, and then it's time for me to actually have my own breakfast. Once all of the animals have had their breakfast and I've had my breakfast too, it's then time to go back up to the stables. Now I'm all fueled and ready for the day and the first thing I do once I get back up is go into my tack room and grab Joey's head collar. So at the moment, every single morning, I've been riding both Joey and Casper. I usually always ride Joey first just because Casper doesn't really mind if he waits in his stable a little bit longer and honestly I think he enjoys the extra little lion and then here we just have Mickey having a bit of a scratch. So anyway, once I've put on Joey's head collar, it's then time to get him ready to ride. So the first thing I do is take off his rug and then it's time to start grooming. And I feel like every single time I groom any of my horses, they always have so much shavings in their tail. I think it's because I always give them nice thick beds. So they always like to have a good lie down, stretch out in there, you know, have a bit of relax. So I do spend quite a while just getting all of the knots and shavings out of his mane and his tail as well and Joey's mane is a little bit everywhere at the moment I am trying to start to train it to go to the right the like correct side but at the moment it's just going in all directions Mickey again having a bit of a scratch here he found some of Joey's leftover hay which he was very excited about anyway here I'm just using a rubber curry comb which is really good at getting up all of the loose dust and yep here <laughs> it a little bit of a shake as well as the um, loose hair as well and with grooming there's always going to be a few joey cuddles as well because this guy just loves attention and yes a day doesn't go by without mickey making some silly faces and i think here he was a little bit tired so he was yawning quite a bit so anyway once i finish grooming joey yeah. it's then time to tack him up so today we've gone for the mint green matchy matchy which actually looks so good on joey it really pops on him anyway so once I've chosen my saddle pad I then put on his saddle and then it's time to do up his girth I always like to make sure that his saddle is nice and comfortable for him once Joey is tacked up it's then time to do some stretches with him so I love to do stretches with all my horses before I ride just to loosen them up a bit before I get on 
and then it's time to walk on down to the arena and because Joey is a little bit bigger than Casper um, sometimes I do have to duck when we go under the hedge here um, but he's such a good boy so in today's exercise that we we're doing on the flat we did a little bit of pole work so here I was kind of doing a three loop serpentine but over poles this was really testing our straightness so here he went a little bit behind the vertical and I really had to straighten him up because he was leaning a little bit but by the end of the session we were a lot more balanced he really got the hang of doing the tighter turns which he struggles with a little bit more and there are a few times here where I was like oh my goodness just for like a few seconds in the trot it just felt magical and this is just something that I love working with young horses it's so rewarding and I'm super happy how Joey and I are progressing together obviously when this was filmed I'd only owned Joey a month and a bit so really not that long and it just feels like each day we just get better and better together and I just find out more and more about what buttons I need to press how he needs to be ridden and um, we're really working on lots of circles at the moment lots of pole work building up that muscle halfway through my session I also like to um, do a little bit of walk long and low just let him stretch out a bit and then we're back into some canter work now and I'm doing lots of canter poles um, here you can see we're really working on our straightness and something that's really helped me as well doing canter poles is really being able to see those horse strides the step up from Casper to Joey although Joey's only one hand bigger his strides are a lot bigger than Casper's because Casper is really short strided so the poles really help me get my eye in on what sort of strides I need here he had a really flashy trot going on which I was very happy with but anyway I'm just super excited for when lockdown's over to be able to like just have some lessons I haven't even had a lesson on Joey yet or just to go out and have some fun because he has so much potential guys I'm just really excited for his future to finish off my sessions I like to do a little bit of long and low I feel like my reins are a little bit too long there but anyway just to let him stretch out and cool down nicely so once once he's all cooled down, it's then time to jump off and roll up my stirrups as well as loosen off my girth. And Joey also gets lots of cuddles because Hello. he's worked so hard. You're all slobbery, aren't you? You've been working very hard. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, after all of the Joey love and attention, because this horse is just so affectionate, it's then time to lead him back to the stables and get him untacked. The next thing I need to do after turning out Joey is then turn out Mickey because Joey doesn't really like being on his own that much so that's why I always like to put Joey and Mickey out together so when the boys are out in the field having fun it's then time to get Casper ready so obviously I groomed him beforehand but here I'm just putting on his saddle pad today I went for my grey Loire one I thought you know what we'll go fancy as I'm filming today <laughs> anyway now it's time to do up Casper's girth and Casper is definitely one of those ponies that love to puff their tummy out so when you're doing up his girth you always have to do it up so many times and just double check it just in case because you never really know if he's just a little bit on the chub side or if he's just puffing his tummy out in a few minutes time you're gonna have to do your girth up again so always check your girths guys <laughs> anyway then it's time to warm Casper up I always like to give him a little bit of rain just because this time of year with the pollen he does cough and sneeze a little bit so once I warmed him up I then in today's session was working on flying changes um, he didn't get it on this side this is his weaker rein that he finds a little bit more difficult but he does get it from going on the left rein to the right rein so I was happy with that change then I decided to try again and yep he got it ignore me opening my reins and putting my outside leg back a bit but it just really helps him get the change a bit more here we finally managed to get it on his weaker rein so I was happy with that had another go on his better rein got it again smashed it out the park then we had another girl in his weaker rain didn't get it that time but I asked him again he managed to get it without the pole so I was super happy with that here he got it with just a pole on the floor rather than the cavaletti and here he got it with the cavaletti on his weaker rain so that was brill so after all of that I was super happy with him especially as we haven't worked on this for ages and hopefully soon we might be able to get it without any poles at all but you know what with horses the most rewarding 
thing is when you've taught them something new and you've been working on it for a really long time and then they finally get it it's just so satisfying so anyway then it's time to give Casper a treat because he as well was such a good boy I was really happy with how he went and he got some cuddles as well because he just can't escape the cuddles he's not as affectionate as Joey he doesn't appreciate the cuddles as much but I think he still secretly loves them so anyway then it's time to turn him out into the field with Mickey and Joey too and part of Casper's morning routine he does this every single morning is roll I think it's just programmed into every grey horse's brain to roll but for some reason sometimes like today he only likes to roll on one side so he got absolutely filthy on the left side of him but the right side no completely clean so you look out in the field and you're like oh Casper hasn't rolled and then you see the other side of him and he's just brown so anyway once all of the horses are fed they're ridden they're turned out it's then time to go onto their stables give them a good muck out so when I'm mucking out the first thing I like to do is pick up all of the little poos to do this I like to use a shavings fork because it's great at not removing all of the fresh shavings. Here all of the sort of wee shavings I put into the middle, make it into a little pile and then pop that in my bucket. Then it's time to empty the bucket when it gets a bit full so I put it onto our muck truck. Then it's time to go back into the stable, remove a few more of the little poops that are still there and I like to do this thing where I kind of fluff up all the shavings and all the little nuggets kind of roll down to the bottom. Bottom. Sounds really strange, but it works really well at removing them to try and make their bed as clean as possible. On this particular day, all of the horses did get fresh shavings. I just didn't end up filming me giving them new shavings. I always like to make sure their bed is nice and big and comfortable for them, even though they have rubber matting underneath them, um, which is nice and squidgy and soft for them. So basically the shavings should only really be there for absorbency, but I also like to make it nice and comfy for them as well. So anyway, I like to do a little sweep, get rid of any of the dust or the mud that's on the ground, especially as Mickey has a respiratory problem as well. So here I'm mucking out Joey's stable and his stable is definitely king size. It's the biggest out of all of them. And as you can see, he has a lot of shavings, but it always looks like he doesn't really have that much when I sweep it all back just because his stable is so big. So I found a room in a leafy street with a stranger and a traveler Welcome me I try and remember my new way home But happen sometimes steers me down your road Oh, I just can't love I can't bear the thought of seeing you With someone new Oh, I swear once I finished mucking out all of the horses stables it's then time to make all of their hay nets for the evening because my horses go in during the night and out during the day currently during the spring just because this time of year the grass is so long and luscious um, it can lead to quite a few health problems if they eat too much of it so to restrict their grazing we do put them in so here I'm just filling up all of their water buckets making sure they have nice fresh water and then we also soak their hay nets as well this is for Mickey's respiratory problem and also to reduce the sugar content in the hay as well so I'm just dragging Mickey's fresh water into his stable so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video and um, seeing my morning routine and what I get up to with the horses pretty much every single morning yes I love to ride first thing with both horses as well I do wake up quite early at around six o'clock in the morning and um, so usually by the time I've done all this it's about 11 o'clock so sometimes I get in a little bit of editing before I have lunch and then film in the afternoon it really depends on my day but pretty much this is what I do every day so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time bye